there, beautiful people. So more tarot card readings. I drew these two cards here for myself, the Queen of uh, Swords and the Three of Wands. And whenever you get two cards together or just or multiple cards together, just try to tell, your, tell yourself a story and see if you can ask what the message is or what the, what, what the connection that the cards might have in. And these two cards, you know, can be connected on many different levels. One way, and one thing that I saw as a message for me anyway, this card representing this, this support that we more than often can feel inside of us. It's, it's not an external support, but it, it can represent that or it can manifest as that. But it's more the knowing that we are supported by spirit in our journey about where we need to be going, what choices we need to be made making and how we can receive that guidance and feel like okay we're not we're not in this journey on our own we're we're definitely backed up by spirit or backed up by our higher higher selves or backed up by a by an inner higher consciousness that we can tap into and feeling that and remembering that and reminding ourselves that it's there and the queen is all about this you know the, the consciousness of what's going on inside of our minds and what's going on inside of our belief system and how we think and how our thoughts create our reality and how we can consciously learn to direct our thinking, direct our thoughts to create different realities in our life and how those thoughts and how our beliefs have a strong effect upon our day-to-day -day manifestation stories, right? So together, these cards were like, challenging me and they were saying hey how often do you think about the support that's there for you because the support that's there is there all the time and I sometimes think well yeah sometimes uh, you know sometimes we're looking for support on the outside and we're waiting to feel like we're on the right path or we're waiting waiting to feel an inspiration that can guide us to make the right choice and this queen is saying hey don't wait for something to come to you. Choose to think about the support that is always there. Choose to be focused on the belief and the knowing and the inner knowledge that you are continuously, constantly being backed up. So, Marcus, think about this energy of, of being supported in your journey. Think about what that support actually feels like inside of yourself. Focus on it. Remind yourself daily. Don't wait for something to, to, to bring it out for you. Know that you have this support inside of you. Know that you know your truth. You know exactly what's right for you. And be centered in in that knowledge. And if you can, I suppose if, if we can remind ourselves more often and more regularly that we know what our path is we just have to believe in it <laughs> we just have to believe that we know we just have to believe that support is there if we can really believe in it that's when it starts to manifest in the world that's when we start to feel guided it's not the guidance doesn't come and then afterwards we believe in the guidance no it's the other way around we we need to choose to really direct our thoughts to remembering that that guidance is always there for us and so when and when we do and when we truly believe in it it'll start to manifest in some sort of form in the outside world anyway have a great day I'd love to hear your comments if anybody wants readings just tap on the on my website and uh, and book a session with me anytime you wish all the best have a great day great weekend great great week <laughs>